Okay guys, uh, now let's talk about this problem. This is obviously another easy problem. I, I, as I've told that this height and distance problem is no rocket science. So again, from a point P on a le on a level ground, so ground is obviously level. So these are the things you should assume to create your dream triangle here. The angle of elevation of the top tower is 30 degrees. If the tower is 100 meter high, the distance of of the point P from the foot of the tower is so 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 let's construct it so from a point P on a level ground so let us form a ground first so this is the level ground here okay and let's let's make it a and from the point P it is telling so let's say this is the point in the ground P from this point the angle of elevation of a loop tower is 30 degree so let's draw a tower so obviously the tower will stand here like that. So let's say it is B. This is the tower. A B is the tower. A B is the tower here. Okay. And the angle of elevation is 30 degrees. So obviously, obviously the angle of elevation is this one, and this angle is said to be 30 degrees. Okay. And it is also telling the tower is 100 meter high. So this is 100 meter. So A B equals to 100 meter for sure okay this angle is provided and what they ask they ask they ask the distance of the point P from the foot of the tower which is A so this distance we don't know so we need to find the distance of P A so this this problems all of them are kind of similar so actually there are three different lines and three different angles and if you know one angle you, you definitely know other two angles because one angle is obviously 90 degree so if another one is told then you know the rest of the angle must be 60 degree here in this case okay so so in this case they've told you one uh, so one uh, one angle is provided one length is provided you can find another length very very easily using formula so what is it here it is that uh, that we need to use a formula so we need to get the value of PA so remind you what is the formula we need to construct we need to construct a formula which contain PA as well as contain A contains AB we can't use which contains a uh, PA and PB because we don't know the value of PB so we can't use it we can't use AB and PB because it won't give us the value of PA so we can't use it too we need to use this formula which includes AB known value PA unknown required to answer right so we need to use a formula regarding or involving these two different things one is base another one is the perpendicular what kind of formula involves perpendicular and base the answer is tan theta the formula of tan theta right so perpendicular by base perpendicular by base right so AB is the perpendicular base is PA equals to tan theta and tan the theta is here 30 degree simply like like that tan 30 is 1 by root 3 this thing you need to memorize otherwise it won't be possible so you need to memorize this little bit okay then then PA is going to be root 3 into AB now we know the length AB is provided 100 meter so 100 root 3 is going to be the value of PA and the value of root 3 is not you can just just leave it like that it will be good but the answer let, let's see the answer the answer is in the meters directly so you need to convert it you know root 3 the value of root 3 you just know the value of root 3 because it is also required you need to memorize it the value of root 3 is simply 1.7 C and if you multiply it, it will be 170 C meters. Let's find it out. Here you go. C, 170 C meter is the answer for this. So that is very, very easy. I hope that's helpful, guys. Thank you.